Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I wanted to go through all of the Hoyas that are a little bit fuzzy or really fuzzy, just kind of like all types of fuzz. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and that way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And yeah, let's get started. So today I'm gonna go through five of these Hoyas. Uh, I probably will go from least fuzzy to most fuzzy. And I'm sure you know some of the Hoyas that I'm gonna talk about because they're super, super obvious, but others you can't really tell in photos if they're fuzzy. So the first one I wanna go through is the Hoya Pachiclata. So this one, when you just look at it, it doesn't look fuzzy. Like that's the plant. This is the Pachiclata white. But once you start feeling the leaves, they're very kind of, not very fuzzy, but slightly fuzzy. And it's just, it feels so like velvety almost. The leaves are pretty succulent. Newer leaves obviously are a lot flimsier, softer, but as they kind of mature, it, it turns pretty hard. So I really like this plant. I think it was definitely a good purchase. It's not really overpriced. And the flowers are just absolutely stunning. They're so adorable. So I can't wait for this to bloom on me. And hopefully it will grace me with its blooms next year. Yeah, for the most part, I do buy Hoyas for their foliage and I just can't stop petting this <laughs> Hoya. I don't know if you guys like pet your plants too, but it's kind of weird, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Next up is my, this one, is my Rotunda Flora. So this one has a really cool leaf shape. They're kind of rectangular and I'm sure I've shown you guys this plant. Ooh, it's very wonky. This plant in the past and it's just, super super unique i would say this one and my mani parensis is just very very cool it's a very cool looking plant and this one is not particularly that slow of a grower so that's always nice it's shot out a lot of new leaves for me in my care and it originally came in a one piece long hoya that was on a trellis which I've removed the trellis obviously because I'm trying to get it to trail. So I propagated I think three or four pieces in here. So they're growing out of the pot now and I'm seeing lots of new growth. These lighter pieces here are new growth. So that's looking pretty cute, especially this little guy. And yeah, like they're slightly fuzzy. I wouldn't say super, super fuzzy, but the the stems are also fuzzy, which is kind of cool. It's not velvety like the patchy clara, but it's more like very, very thin fuzz. So if you kind of wipe the leaves too hard, you can might you might remove some of the fuzz. So I don't know if I can give you like a really close up if you guys can tell. But yeah, this leaf, you can sort of tell that it's fuzzy yeah i just really like this plant and it's been growing really well for me it doesn't require much care and just a nice cute little pot so that one is plant number four and it's the hoya rotunda flora next up is my hoya numularioides which is also pretty fuzzy i would say this one's just a little bit fuzzier than the previous one which is the rotunda flora this one I find gets dusty really easily. It just, I don't know, it like attracts a lot of dust and it's hard to clean fuzzy leaves because I don't want to rub it too hard and damage the fuzziness of the leaves. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's the Hoya numularioides. It's a super common slash plain looking Hoya, but I really just like it because of its fuzziness. And I even gave this a cute little DIY trellis that I just wrapped a metal bendable wire and covered it in some twine and I think it looks so cute. This one I definitely would recommend. It's an, also quite an easy Hoya to care for. So who doesn't love a fuzzy yet easy Hoya? So we're down to the last two. So this next Hoya is a Hoya Kadada Sumatra and this one has both fuzzy foliage and also fuzzy flowers so I can't wait for this to bloom for me as well I got this as a two piece cutting 
So both pieces were rooted and I got it from a seller locally. So the seller was called um, Plants R Us Toronto. And if you just kind of look at the foliage, you can see the fuzziness almost. And it's so splashy and fuzzy. And there's actually some new growth showing back here. You can see there's like a new vine that's coming out right here. And there's this little piece over here as well. So very excited for this to give me a new leaf to be honest because it hasn't it hasn't done much but it looks like it's finally doing something so not mad about it. And it hasn't lost any leaves so very happy with this one. It's also really like succulent and hard waxy type of leaf so I really like that. And last but not least, my number one fuzzy Hoya is obviously the Hoya Thompsonii. So this is the Hoya. You might think it looks different now because I actually chopped it all up and tried to stick it all into the pot so that it looks more full and less scraggly, straggly, scraggly. And yeah, I think I like this look a lot better. Some of the pieces are not rooted yet, but it will. And this is a very, very hairy Hoya. So it's not even just fuzzy, it's straight up hairy. And it's looking a lot better now. All the new leaves that have come, that have grown in my care are so much fuzzier than the old leaves. So like, just look at how fuzzy that is. Compared to like this leaf, this leaf came with the Hoya the, when I first bought it and it's just, it's not looking too hot. It looks like the fuzz, I don't know, just like came right off the plant or something, but the new leaves are definitely really, really hairy. And even over here, these tiny little new leaves, you can just see the amount of hair that's on here. So just look, so much hair. So yeah, I really like this plant. It's my number one fuzzy Hoya in my collection. And I would definitely recommend all of these Hoyas if you're into fuzzy foliage because it's just so fun to like pet your plants. I don't know, that's probably weird. I'm sure you guys all do it if you guys have Hoyas or any types of fuzzy plants. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below which Hoya in your collection is extra fuzzy or even the fuzziest. And uh, mine is definitely the Thompsonia, but I'm sure there's probably fuzzier Hoyas out there that I don't have in my collection. So yeah, it'd be really nice to know. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.